Hello students. Our today's topic is beats. We have heard so many times that uh, when we listen to sound of very close frequency after a, some time interval they are uh, we are unable to discriminate between them and on the other hand if both of the sound reach our ears simultaneously in that case the frequency which we hear is the average of the both of the sound wave we can take an example to understand this phenomena say two sound waves of frequency 256 hertz and 260 hertz respectively are traveling through the medium which is the air if we listen both sound waves one after another with a few minutes interval few minutes interval between them we cannot discriminate both because their frequencies are very closer to each other on the other end if we listen both waves simultaneously we hear their average frequency that is 258 hertz so this is the phenomena where sound waves and its intensity changes at the different time instants the both of the waves are superimposed and the resultant waveform is produced since the frequencies of both of the sound waves are very closer to each other so the resultant waveform is called the superposition of both of the waves and appears in terms of a wave that is called the beat so in terms of beat we can say here that the phenomena of wavering of sound intensity when two waves of nearly same frequencies and amplitude traveling in the same direction same direction superimposed on each other is called beats we can consider here the both of the waves which are being superimposed here let the two waves are let the two waves are s1 equals to a cos omega 1 t s2 equals to a cos omega 2 t and the resultant of their superimposition will be given by s 
a cos omega 1 t plus resultant of superposition of s1 and will be s equals to s1 plus s2 that will be given by 2a cross omega 1 minus omega 2 upon 2 multiply by t and cos omega 1 plus omega 2 upon t 2 multiply by t. Now here if you consider that omega b the angular frequency is given by omega 1 minus omega 2 and omega a be the omega 1 plus omega 2 then s equals to 2a cos omega b t in bracket multiply by cos omega a t. This is the uh, equation of the resultant waveform produced by the superposition of both of the waves. Let us consider this equation number as equation number 1. Now see here if the amplitude of WB which is the amplitude of difference of the angular frequency of both of the waves is very very less than from both of the angular frequencies separately and it is clear to us and also it is clear to us that WA is greater than very very greater than WP sorry clearly that omega A is very very greater than omega B so the quantity 2a cos omega b t in above equation number 1 can be considered the amplitude which has maximum value plus 1 or minus 1 twice in each repetition of the term cos omega t cos omega a t function the amplitude of the resultant resultant is not constant and the resultant intensity of sound vary with an angular frequency omega beat that is given by the difference of both of the angular frequencies and the beat frequency will be f beat equals to f1 minus f2 producing a waxing and waning of sound. Let's all the beat. We will continue in the next term. Thank you.